Hello everyone. Uh, today uh, I just received the latest version of the video encoder hybrid, and uh, the first thing that I can see that it, maybe the first thing it doesn't have any changes. But until you go to filtering, oh my god, so many things around here. So right now I'm so today i'm going to show you how to encode your video from the normal frame rate to 60 frames per second all right so uh, right now first you're going to see this is the default video thanks to youtube haha <laughs> show you step by step how to do it correctly okay the first thing that you go into open you're going to select the video around here and then in the audio choose pass through on so that they, they will not touch your audio next go to X go to the top X 264 and you can see the encoding mode over here This one is okay but it would take a long time so I want to change to constant rate factor one pass and for the best result of the video I will, all, I will use the number 15 and because my video because the video that I have selected is in the 1080p so I will change to 4.2 filtering tab you will see there are a lot of tabs that they have been added up on the latest version but I want you to go to the, to the support tab over here instead of use the vapor synth you, you change to absent all right and then next go to the frame tab over here and you can see in the interpolation tab there is the there is a word call FPS adjust now select it it will it will enable to change the FPS to next choose the interframe and in the tuning section change from film to smooth all right and I'm going to notice you something you can see that the target frame rate in the default video is 29.95 frames per second and the correct way to have the smooth, the smooth video is to double the, the, norm, the normal frame rate of the video so in here you can see the 29.97 frames per second I'm going to change so if we double it up it will be 59.94 frames per second well it could be a little bit a little bit numbers but the more but the video it will be smooth and go to the override earth earth algorithm change from the default number 13 to 21 and then if you have a GPU, a dedicated GPU, select this so that it accelerates so it will accelerate the conversion. Alright. Next go back to base and you can see the output over here. Alright. So I will change to another video. And then after that, select so let's start to query under this round. All right. You can track. You can track a uh, uh, processing processing time and in the jobs video. Sometimes it could. Sometimes you have to wait for a long time. But if the video is short, it doesn't. It doesn't. You don't. 
doesn't cost you any time. So this video is only more than one minute so the processing time will be much faster than the other videos it depends on your CPU and your GPU so so in so in this case I have four gigabytes of GPU so to encode this video it will take only a few minutes okay so uh, right now the video is finished we're going to see the result of it okay and now you can see that the video is surprisingly smooth I just double the frame rates of the video so that you can enjoy the move the smooth movement of the of the frame of this video. So so the setting could apply to any videos that you want to encode to want to convert your video. Alright. Okay, so uh, thank you everyone for watching and if you like like this video just press the like just press the like button and uh, I was and I will see you in uh, another random good quality videos bye bye